COVID and I, and I was seeing a neurologist and he suggested Botox for my migraines, which I've pretty much suffered my entire life with. Um, and so I grabbed onto anything that would help. And um, I received 21 shots in my head of Botox to re uh, uh, for every three months for nine months. So I did it three t a series of three and I got I got very, 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 very sick. I didn't know what was causing um, my sickness. And um, I later learned that I had been poisoned with Botox. So um, that set me um, that set me back. I, I literally um, was crawling. I couldn't walk. I couldn't um, my nerve my nerve endings were completely on fire in my mouth, in my entire body. I couldn't drink gum. I couldn't have anything warm in my mouth or hot. I couldn't take a shower unless it was cold. And that probably lasted about a year. It was, and there were so many more symptoms, I cannot tell you. Um, it left me very, very dizzy. And um, eventually it just kind of wore itself um, away, but never completely going away. So one of the things that even coming into this, I um, still remain dizzy. And I just had a huge dizzy episode um, maybe a year ago that I had to go to PT for. Also, you know, I mean, it really set me back, threw me back on the bed. I It just was amazing. So at, at this point in time, the film that I um, seem to have over my eyes, I don't have that film anymore. I can see clearly and I am not dizzy. I cannot, I still have to be very careful at night, um, making sure that there's night lights around because I, I, um, I get very, maybe even a little fearful of, of falling. Um, I, I get a little dizzy still, but I can see that dissipating as well. Well, that's a, that's a very short version of a very long, long period of time that was absolutely devastating. Wow, that's fabulous. That's incredible. Thank you, Carol, for sharing. That's just, wow. So, Dr. Blair, uh, what do you think about um, getting rid of the poison or the uh, the Botox in her body? Is, is that like the parasites? Could the, could the beta get rid of that? Well, I think it, it does an excellent job at detoxification. I think it's a partner with detoxification so that those molecules uh, um, that are still hanging around uh, through autophagy or that self uh, destruction of abnormal tissues can be improved uh, with beta carotene, and you're going to eliminate those substances. Also, any inflammation that is associated uh, with the problems in these persistent uh, type of molecules is going to be quelch, uh, and they're not. You're not going to have that inflammatory signaling that's going to go on. So um, it it also generates uh, glutathione, uh, which is a very the best and the most uh, protective. Uh, anti-inflammatory agent that we have within our bodies. And it protects us against, it protects us by producing more of the glutathione in particular. So there's every reason to think that um, it could uh, negate uh, the neurotoxicity of uh, Botox uh, and other substances uh, that accumulate in the body and in the brain and in the eyes too. Mm. Gosh, that is amazing. Okay. Bob, um, thank you, Carol. Uh, Bob's on. We're we're kind of running low of time if we headed up to the top of the hour. But uh, Bob, can you turn your camera on? Now you turn the microphone off. Okay. I know how to turn the microphone back on. Now I can't figure out how to get the camera back on. Okay. There's a little uh, start video with a line through it. It should, if you if you hit that button, it should start the video that that's okay if you, well now you, okay that's okay yeah, um I, I think it's more important to hear what you have to say because you've been doing this now for about four months so real quick um give them your uh sort of the things that brought you to it what made you want to do it What made you want to take the beta caryophylline? Okay, the telephone has been 
muted again. So there you are. Yeah, so um, anyway, I met you one night and I was telling you I had pain in my face and you gave me some of the beta caryophylline and my pain went away in a short amount of time. And um, I was taking pharmaceuticals at the time. And, and that was for uh, shingles, wasn't it? The signal neuropathy? Pardon? That was for shingles neuropathy. Yes, yes. And uh, anyway, I, I stopped taking those medications ever since that the night I met Kate and she gave me the beta caryophylline. And so what, my what pain was it? back. Okay. So what was the, um, it was a pharmaceutical. So what was the pharmaceutical? Do you know? It was, uh, I think it was oxycodone. So that's an opioid. Is that right? Good gracious. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I know. Um, and then, so I, I think that we can address, um, I think you were sleeping or not sleeping. Uh, I got to tell you, I can't remember, but that far back. Okay. But I may not have been time. Yeah. And I was able to better perhaps afterwards. And, and I know we had a big thing about your weight. Um, you can, you can tell them about all the fun we had within the first uh, month. Yeah. I was working on my bucket list of foods before I started a diet and, um, I didn't even realize that I was losing 25 pounds during that month. And you weren't so even, I, I were you trying time. to lose weight during that time? Were you actually making an effort? No, I, was, I, I was not trying to lose weight. I was working on my bucket list of all the foods I wanted to eat before I started the diet. <laughs> hey, let me tell you so something. I I... Go ahead. Now I lost 25 pounds in that first month with that, without trying. And, and now where are you? And so I was at 276 and now I'm down at about 221. So, so I've lost uh, 55, 55 pounds, pounds now. Yeah. Excellent. Um, basically, I don't feel like I have, I, I don't feel like I need to eat all the time, which I used to feel that way. Number one, appetite suppression. Yeah. And you changed your diet and Carol, you changed your diet and I changed my diet. Um, so can, can you talk a little bit about your diet? Cause I think it's also important with Dr. Blair understanding the beta caryophylline and the change of our diet. So I started on a red meat diet and that's pretty much, I mean, that's most of what I eat. I eat some cheese along with it, but it's mostly red meat. And, and you, you stopped drinking beer and you stopped drinking wine and you stopped eating cake, no more fun. Um, and then you, you also uh, tried a, a fast. So can you talk a little bit about that? I did a, I did a three day fast and, um, I didn't think I could do it actually, but I found it very easy to do. And, uh, I think I lost, uh, I, I know I lost weight during that time. Okay. Dr. Blair, can you talk about, um, the beta caryophylline and then the combination with his fast or his diet? Sure. You know, um, beta caryophylline actually mimics a intermittent fasting very, very specifically by by de depressing the um, the appetite, uh, but also by mobilizing lipolysis or the release of fat from our fat cells. You circulate in the body fat, and then that becomes metabolized by the mitochondria, and the mitochondria are shifted over to fat burning as opposed to burning glucose. And in that fat burning, that's generating a lot more energy as well as heat. Um, it actually, uh, beta caryophylline stimulates the development of brown fat, which uh, forms a great deal of heat substance 
for our bodies rather than producing energy and reactive oxygen species that cause oxidation. So all these factors are taking a role and plus you're not having any gut pain, you're not getting any uh, gut disturbances and your gut has improved immeasurably in its absorption and avoidance of any inflammatory signaling. So you're getting, uh, and you're also changing your microbiome towards a better effect as well. One of the particular effects that I've noticed is that beta carotene stimulates it actually is um, it mirrors the benefits of a ketogenic diet and ketosis in the body. So when we go, when we fast or when we go on a ketogenic diet, we generate ketone bodies as a substitute for glucose and the body burns ketones much, much more efficiently and much more energetically than glucose. And it protects us from a lot of inflammatory signaling. Plus, the ketone bodies are actually anti-inflammatory as well. So you're getting a combination of a number of different benefits. You, um, Bob, you're going with a more ketogenic program, a red meat, a carnivore program. You are generating uh, more ketone bodies uh, and it's giving you the added analgesic effect and the added um, cognitive effects uh, as well. And it's changing your body shape and function. My body shape has changed dramatically in the last three months. Yeah, so one of the, one of the things, and you may have noticed that you've actually put on muscle as well. Have you noticed that? Yes. Yeah, so it not yeah, only gets I'm rid of to... belly fat, particularly belly fat, but it also generates muscular strength. Um, and you are in more inclined to exercise. You're more active and, you, and you're more wanting to get out there and do more things on an exercise potential. I've heard this said many times, even Callie uh, mentioned to that, that to me yesterday that she feels like motivated. Uh, and uh, Kate has mentioned that she feels motivated to get more exercise as well. So there's a, a motivational program that's going on that, that programming uh, of the brain that's that's happening as well uh, as uh, the decrease in um, and and the more aligned with a um, functional purpose and a uh, getting out there and doing things and a purpose driven life. It, it's almost like it's the euphoria that it creates. Allow it almost takes you to the place where you you don't even want those things that you used to get the euphoria from, like having that glass of wine or having. Uh, the joint or whatever it may be. I feel like you're taking away the inflammation that takes care of our pain, which the pain, we don't have pain. We feel better than we feel like it's creating this cleanse in our body that gets rid of things that make us gravitate to these things that we know aren't good for us. And now it's like we want it's you're gravitating more toward those better choices because you're, you're feeling better. You don't want to put that back into your body because you feel so good. Mandy, you hit upon a really good point is that beta carotene is anti-addictive for all substances and all behaviors. Uh, it's incredible the way it blocks the uh, pleasure pathway for this, this constant stimulus that we get, but it doesn't interfere with well-being and a satisfaction for your life. So it's blocking those addictive pathways for any substance that you might take in, whether it's alcohol, opioids, or, or uh, sugar for that matter, but it, it still uh, instills a, a healthy attitude uh, and a well-being that goes on with a mental state that relieves depression immediately and anxiety. I feel like this is, been, Kate, I feel like this has been more rewarding than going to any place I'd ever been before. When we get on these calls, all these testimonials, it's almost like you get this, like, you know how when you get that hallelujah in you when you go to church <laughs> or when you just want to scream because you're so happy. So it's so exciting to hear all of this because it all lines up with how I've been feeling too. So I'm like, wow, maybe, you know, all of this connected together. It's just, it's an amazing feeling. So it's great to hear everybody else having the same experience. Wow. We, you know, it's been a process and I talk to Dr. Blair almost, um, it seems like every day, sometimes twice a day. And I keep grabbing people and, you know, dosing them. I feel like I walk around in the Atlantic down here in Florida, just like the li little fairy doser or something. And <laughs> you're everybody's <laughs> favorite dealer. Oh my gosh. I'm telling you, I, I feel like a dealer, but everybody I'm talking to, like this one guy, Karen couldn't get on. But 
Karen has a husband and he had a, a punctured esophageal on his throat. He's got a feeding bag. He wasn't able to um, talk or interact. He's 81 years old. He's just lying in bed for the last year. And um, his wife bought a bottle and she gave it not only to herself, but to him. And we thought we were gonna have to do it through the feeding tube. Well, she put it in his mouth and this was maybe two weeks ago. Now he's talking, he's cognitive. He's using words like obtuse. Like I don't even use obtuse, okay? You know, and it it's like that's changed his life. Who else? Charlene. Charlene has been like not sleeping, um, super stressed out. You know, just it it just goes on and on and on. Um, Darlene, are you there? I think you're driving or something. I see your hair. <laughs> yeah, I I'm sorry about that. Darlene, I I am. I'm trying trying to get to another meeting at three o'clock, but. Um, can you hear me at all? Yes, please. Oh, good. Um, you know, I I started this beta caryophyllin um, when Carol told me about it, and I had um, a ruptured disc and um, five vertebrae that were misaligned and causing um, sciatic and anterior uh, neuropathy. Um, it was a horrible experience. <clears throat> For about six weeks, I was in severe pain crawling on the floor. Um, I went to chiropractors. I went to allopathic doctors. I finally did go to a pain management doctor and got one of those um, injections in my SI joint. But um, being totally afraid of needles, it was, it was very emotionally traumatizing. <laughs> so um, when I heard about the beta caryophyllin, I said, well, I need to try this because the pain had decreased with the shot but it wasn't gone completely and it started back and the day that I met Kate that's when I noticed that it was back um and I didn't want to go to the severe side of it it was probably when I was talking to her it was a four um but it was a 10 20 area prior to, prior to me starting any any treatment at all um and then what I noticed was it took a day and the pain was literally gone. Um, and then I was able to move around um, without crutches and that type of thing. I was on a cane crutches before that. Um, so the dramatic thing that happened to me was I hadn't exercised for um, six months to a year. Um, but uh, my neighbor was out back and I asked her <clears throat> um, what she was doing. She said, well, let's go walk at 6.30 in the morning. Well, ever since I met her two weeks ago, we've been walking um, three times a week. And I joined um, Fred Astaire Dance Studio because I want to I wanna do ballroom dancing. Um, and I started a yoga class. And so <laughs> it's just been amazing. Wow. And, and my depression has definitely decreased i i went through a very um traumatic um event losing a husband and it was hard but now i'm i'm back on the now i wouldn't say the hamster wheel but i'm back into life and i'm grateful for that um and i can see that the the berry uh the the beta caryophyllin has helped some but i do have some questions and i wanted to talk to Kate about it and she could talk to doctor about it, but he's on there. I have um, since developed a terrible um, a rash and inflammatory symptoms type thing. Um, and I'm not sure whether it's related to the beta caryophyllin because I'm allergic to black pepper. That happened after I was... Um, told that I was exposed to tuberculosis in the past, not knowing when it was, they advised taking um, rifampin. And I started that and it made a terrible allergic reaction. So I stopped it. And um, after I think two or three weeks, um, and ever since then, my system has been very, 
very um, sensitive. And so I don't know whether that has something to do with it. And also I was on prednisone before I started the berry, uh, the beta caryophyllin for three weeks. Um, two weeks was a very high dose, 80 milligrams a day, maybe 80 or 120. I forget what it was. It was morning and night, which didn't do anything. But I took it because they said, well, it, it's going to help. It's going to help. Well, maybe it did in the end, but it wasn't during that time. So, um, so I don't know whether my my immune system is suppressed. Yeah, I can't tell if you're having an allergic reaction or not, but it has not happened in anybody thus far. And so uh, I oh, would be very okay. reluctant to say that beta carotene is producing that. Perhaps it is from some the stevia that is in the formulation could cause uh, some uh, uh, symptomatology that, that could affect you. Now, beta caryophylline is actually was the, had the same immunosuppressive effects as dexamethasone, which is a very high powered steroid that was used uh, it commonly for different types of things. And, um, and it actually uh, mirrored the benefits of uh, immunosuppression uh, for people who were getting those kinds of shots and that kind of medication. Uh, so it, it actually mirrors the effects of corticosteroids. Um, so, I, you know, I'm not sure if it, you're having a reaction, but there's also other options for beta caryophylline that we could work on. And, and I, can, I can say too, um, I met Darlene before she started taking it. We were at Cottage Rose which was this beautiful place. We were sitting on the couch and, you know, you have changed in the last two weeks to somebody that is completely different. You, your posture has changed. Your next door neighbor said the same thing when we were over there uh, for dinner. Um, your, you know, sense of happiness and you're smiling and, um, you know, I, I don't know if that, it's, I guess it's depression, but Darlene, Neighbor, I'm, I, I'm so sorry. My um, phone got heated up and it shut itself off, but I'm back now. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, we can kind of see the side of your eyeglasses now, but I was just saying that I've noticed that there's, yes, there's there's more of a smile. Your posture's better. Almost immediately, like, the, like maybe the second or third day, I think you texted me and said you were vacuuming the uh, floor. And then oh, it was yeah. the first time you had vacuumed in four months. And then I went right. over to your house and it's beautiful. So I don't know what you were worried about, but. <laughs> it was, oh, thank you. Um, you know, it. I didn't stop the, the um, I didn't stop the beta caryophyllin. I kept taking it. I just decreased the dose thinking, well, maybe, you know, that 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 was the cause of the, the itching and, and rash. I still haven't figured out where that's coming from and I and I'm working on that but I'm not going to stop it because because I've had, got so many positive beneficial um, uh, um, effects from it and so you know and you guys were talking about dreams I have never remembered my dreams and all of a sudden since I've been taking this I've had dreams and I'm remembering them um, and it, it's, it's just, um, so interesting to find how your brain works. You know, some days I think, well, I'm getting forgetful, <laughs> you know, senior moment type thing, but you know, it, it may be related to the stress, but it definitely is, um, not related to the beta caryophyllin, I don't believe. And, you know, we've had conversations. So. We, thank you, uh, Darlene. We've had conversations, Dr. Blair, about sort of the spiritual and what I can say, uh, Mandy and Christopher um, and Alex, he's in uh, San Francisco now, and I lived in San Francisco. We we have a tendency when you're in California, they call it woo-woo science, you know, to get more into like, how do you feel, your spiritual, you know, being with one with nature and Dr. Blair, um, 
we've discussed some of the things that have happened. Is it is it that we are in balance, as you call homeostasis? Is could that be the reason that we're noticing the birds singing or we're noticing more um I don't know. Well, you know, there's definitely feelings of well-being. Um and it's actually stimulating uh, those that pleasure principle that is part of us and we are getting a lot more out of life but in addition it's increasing our sensory uh signaling one patient uh, that uh, you tried it on actually improved her deafness uh, she was partially deaf and it improved her hearing very specifically other okay. people have improved their hearing as well their their voices change their uh, speeches change uh, their vision changes and so your sensitivities of all different measures actually improve your taste changes uh your uh, so many things uh change in a positive way and there's an increase in libido for many people as well so there's an enhancement of all these pleasurable principles and all these sensory principles and i can i can only relate that that probably extends into the psychological effects and and the uh, sensitivities that we have on, on a spiritual level, that we're enhancing our spiritual sensitivity. We're opening up to more suggestion. We're moking up more to ideas and, and we're, we're opening up our minds towards many different thoughts and patterns that we had previously uh, blockaded. And so I think it's an, a general opening of our systems particularly for our cognitive centers in our prefrontal cortex uh, and uh, across the entire brain. Well, it's pretty uh, I, I would like to say that um, I've had tinnitus for several years now, and I've tried a lot of different um, herbal remedies, which didn't work. But this one, I noticed that on my right side, it would go away and then, then it would decrease um, on the left side. And then, you know, at other times, um, it would, both sides would um, decrease. So I'm not, um, I'm, I'm not convinced that it's not working. <clears throat> I, so, that it's I, I have that heard reports time. that it decreases the amount of tinnitus. And I've had one case that it's resolved the tinnitus, but there's a good chance that uh, it, it benefits. I think that you're clearly identified a beneficial effect uh, from beta caryophylline in reducing the tinnitus um, and restoring hearing capacity. Um, right. Kelly, I, well, and that's the other thing I noticed that my hearing has improved. Oh. Like right now I don't have my hearing aids in and I can hear you guys pretty well. Oh, clearly, actually. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. That's great. Well, so anyways, that's a long story. Um, why they're not in my ears they should be in my ears but um yeah so that's exciting I mean I, ha I have the phone up to my ear but I'm hearing <laughs> <laughs> wow that's um, fantastic anyway Kate and Dr. Blair um if I may I have to ask myself to be excused I, my laptop battery is dying and I gotta get somewhere but I'm available uh if you have anything further right I hope that's I think we covered most of the stuff um thank absolutely you. thank you thank you Alex. thank you so much alex absolutely okay. thank you i've got to run as well so yeah. I'll be you. yep pleasure to hear from everybody happy to share further uh, i mean uh, kate dr Blair, you're welcome to share my contact uh, this has been a great journey so and still in the midst of it so we really appreciate your contributions okay. thank yeah. you take thank care you. guys all right. yeah. to the good work all right We'll Bye, see you later. We'll talk to you later. Okay, Callie, thank you. Callie, before everybody leaves, I'd like to have you, um, because you've been on and off at, uh, how are you doing? Did you get your supplies? Are you there, Callie? There you are. I'm still here, yeah. Um, hey, I, I've not yet got my supply, but it's in the mail. So, so not worried too much there. But uh, yeah, as Dr. Blair mentioned, we did have a bit of a conversation yesterday and just kind of catching up. Um, I've finally gone through, uh, you know, kind of a full month, well, two months really, uh, regiment, uh, at this point. So I can say, I know, I know Dr. Blair, you said that there, it had an anti-addictive, uh, component, but I would almost argue the opposite that I am addicted to beta caryophylline. <laughs> so <laughs> I, I was thinking that too. 
<laughs> I just, you know, um, I, I come from the CBD industry and there's something that we've always said about it, which was, it's less about what you feel and more about what you don't feel, um, is how you sort of look at the effects of that. And I think that applies even more greatly in the realm of beta caryophylline and that it's, it, whereas I do have some positive effects, my energy, my motivation, uh, you know, general mental acuity have seemingly increased, but I'm also, you know, I didn't necessarily have trouble sleeping, but I'm sleeping better. You know, I didn't have anxiety issues, but I'm less anxious. Right. And so it's, it's, I'm finding positive effects in areas that I wasn't necessarily looking for a remedy in, but here we are, you know, I'm feeling more positive in those areas. Um, and then of course, coupled with the things that I'm getting to enjoy, which is a bit, you know, better sleep and better exercise, more motivation. Uh, so again, um, a little bit addicted. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've heard that said before. It, it, it can have an addictive qualities to it. it but it, if you remember it, it's so forgettable for the most part. Uh, you know, people uh, get started on it. They drop off. They stop taking it. They don't recognize these uh, positive changes for themselves. So, so I, I really appreciate when you recognize these positive changes, even though they're subtle, uh, that you can recognize them and really relate to the addictive component uh, that you could have uh, from it. Plus the taste. The taste can be uh, very appealing for many people. And I've heard uh, sort of uh, addictive flavoring uh, that comes from it. And also the beta caryophylline has a, a woody odor uh, that is very, very attractive to some people. Um, they love the smell of it. They really resonate with it uh, at the same time. And the taste can be stimulating. You know, I've always understood, and maybe it's a bit anecdotal, um, but that you're like when a smell or a taste is in incredibly appealing, it's because there's some mechanism in your body that's craving it. And I don't know, you know, the, the truth of that in a medical sense, but that's something that has seemingly been the case, um, you know, as, especially within the hemp industry, that's, that's something that we key in on. Um, and there's a lot of crossover in terms of what you're paying attention to and the effects therein, um, which might be informing my my approach to you know how I'm giving your feedback and everything. Well, there's no question about our odors uh, stimulate uh, brain cells and our brain cognition for the most part, um, and they they stimulate relaxation and calming effects. And so, um, if we get an odor that is appealing to us, that can have a very positive effect on the brain function, um, particularly for a calming effect or relaxation or, or a pleasurable principle. Um, it just makes sense that that's a direct connection to the brain, and it's going to uh, it's going to co coordinate uh, those brain activities as well. Of course. Yeah. No Thanks for giving me a chance to to go through it. I'm I, I know I was a little bit late to the call, but I'm so glad I joined. No, it's it's really it, it's important. We're like I said, I think we're all kind of uh, figuring out as we go along. But what you said, Callie, is the same thing that's happening with me. I went in thinking that I was going to do it for my mom, and you know her eyes, and I found that the floaters went away. In, in my eyes, it's taken me, it's taken my mother 10 months to try it. And so she, uh, April 11th, she tried it. And I didn't know this. She lives at home, you know, by herself on a hundred acre farm. So she doesn't want to complain or tell anybody what's going on, but she hasn't slept for over a year. And maybe she slept for an hour or two hours. Oh. She had such pain in her hip that you know that, that she, she couldn't sleep so basically uh, uh, darling can you uh, mute your I think, sure thanks honey um so so what happened was she slept for the first time since april 11th every night she slept through the night okay and that i think is helping with the pressure that she's been having in her eyes and her cholesterol, she was taking like a cholesterol drug. So she stopped taking that because Dr. Blair said, don't take that. Um, 
And then she has a friend that's been delivering. Now, my mom is 92, okay? So she has a friend that delivers her meals on wheels. He was so crippled up um, that he could hardly walk the dog maybe halfway around the block. Now he's walking around the block. His pain was up to 20, you know, on a scale of one to 10, it was 20. It's now negligible, like maybe one or two in the pain level. Um, you know, just the, the pain seems to really be where people are getting immediately fast benefits from. Right. And how's your, how's your mom's vision? Uh, I think her, she said her clarity is better that Hayes Carol that you talked about. I, I don't think she has that anymore. Um, if I was there, I would be able to spend more time to see kind of what's going on, but she has a cataract and she's going to have Kellogg, uh, eye Institute on, I think the 13th, uh, the 13th or the 16th, she's got an eye appointment. So they'll see what her uh, her pressure is and whether she needs to have an operation for her eye, for her cataract, which we really want to not have that, not just because she's 92, but her left eye has is almost blind in that one eye from when she was a kid. So she really would almost go blind. So we don't want her walking around the kitchen and the house by herself without you know, she lives alone. I mean, she wants to live alone, but somebody's there all the time. Well, she also mentioned that she was able to get more things done. She was able to be compulsive about taking oh. care of her paperwork and taking care of those things that she has responsibilities for. Um, oh. And I want to say something about cataracts. So, you know, uh, cataracts are an inflammatory condition of the lens of the eye. And if we blocked all the inflammatory signals, we could correct for the uh, the uh, um, fibrosis that occurs and causes cataract for, uh, function and mechanisms. And I believe that beta carotene can do that, which just takes a long time. I, I suggest that it's gonna take to reverse uh, a cataract in any form. Thank you. I, I know we don't have a lot of time left, especially uh, because we're 24 minutes over, but the <laughs> other, and also my battery's low, but this is important. Um, Dr. Blair has been looking at this for cancers. And I know this is a whole nother subject, but we, we've got like two or three different people that we're looking at with um, cancers. So can can you speak to that, Dr. Blair? Um, yeah, you know, I, I don't talk about cancer very often because it it could make me a target for um, uh, the FTC or somebody like that making claims. But the beta often has such magnificent properties against cancer. Uh, it's like all, it's antibacterial for all organisms, antiparasitic. It is anti-cancer for every known cancer. It actually prevents the mutations, DNA mutations in the body and helps correct for those mutations. Plus it actually uh, it stimulates uh, a, a, a positive um, enhancement of chemotherapy agents on the killing of cancer cells and it induces cancer cell death. It prevents their migration, their, their metastasis, it has all of the benefits, and it, and I believe that beta carotene should always be included in whatever cancer therapy is incorporated. Now, I'm a strong believer in cannabinoids, and I also combine it with CBD uh, and BCP, and the combination is terrific. Along with a little bit of THC, you can get the best effects. And I've, I've actually corrected for a number of different cancers, particularly lung cancer, breast cancer. Uh, I hope that I'm going to be able to correct for um, colon cancer. I, I've um, been working on uh, some uh, lymphoma. I actually have a patient who has had uh, leukemia and has had a graft versus host reaction. She's using the beta carotene to eliminate the, the drastic effects from graft versus host, where your body uh, reacts, your, your, 
your grafting um, uh, molecules and grafting uh, lymphocytes actually attack your own body cells and it creates an inflammatory situation. It's blocking that particular effect for which we generally take uh, autoimmune uh, and immune uh, depressants and immune suppressants. So it, it covers the range of anti-cancer effects uh, and I highly, highly beneficial uh, for everybody that I, I can tell about it and inform them about it. Well, it, it's interesting because I'm, I've now been thinking about the reason I'm taking it for a long period of time. It's been almost 10 months, but it's in case I ever, you know, get it. <laughs> like, I, I think it's preventing it. I'm, you know, that's why I want to do it. Um, you know, all the benefits that you have, but what I'm seeing is if our food or I'm not maybe eating the best food, um, maybe this will help me stay in a, what do they call it? An alkaline um, pH balance. Is, is is that correct? That I'm more alkaline? Uh, that's not that's one theory. Yes. See, that's, that's it. Well, we've... Huh. I mean, there's so many, there's so many different uh, conversations and, um, you know, we, we can block it off in different areas, but we'll, we'll do this again. I'm, I, I've, I, I, there was probably 10 or 15 new people, I would say new in the sense of the last uh, two to four weeks that I'd like to get on at the time that some of my longer type people have been on, because I think those it'll help the people that are newer to hear from like the people that have been on it longer. Does that, does that make sense? And I so appreciate these testimonials, these, these advocacies, these benefits. And I, and I, I keep collecting the a number of different benefits that come on with it and, and recognize them in, in my fluidity, in my speech and my, my discussions to, to relate to these enormous uh, potential for this substance across the board for all health matters, as well as well-being and normal life. I think it's a, a fabulous um, um, mechanism and, and I'd love to hear your testimonies uh, and is so valuable for me. Thank you so much, Dr. Blair. You're changing the world. You really are. It, you know, I, I, I can't even. Uh, sorry, darling. I didn't hear you. You're muted, honey. Uh, no, you're muted. <laughs> I don't know if she can. You're muted. I need to unmute. I, I wanted to say, Dr. Blair, thank you for sharing your knowledge and your expertise, and you know, being being so available to um you know those in need and and be willing to educate you know not only the patients but other healthcare providers i certainly am open to talking to any healthcare provider um at all i i would love to get them on board with uh the, this uh, potential substance but there's so few of them who will actually listen to um, uh, my discussions about alternative uh, health care and the alternative yeah. programs that I've gotten involved with. They have a great deal of skepticism and they are very conservative in nature. So they, they don't readily take upon uh, these substances, probably because the social media advertising for everything is out there is so off the, off the charts in terms of the claims that are going on. Whereas, uh, and, and unfortunately, this has so many potential benefits I could claim, make all kinds of claims about it, but I, I have to, I have to reserve that. I have to restrain myself in making too many right. claims. And yet, when I'm talking to a physician, I want to list them all and tell them all mm -hmm. about it. Which immediately, uh, you know, you come on the idea that it's uh, snake oil and it's, uh, it's beyond belief. Right. Or a placebo. Mm -hmm. That is the placebo effect. Well, I have a um. I have a niece who is a physician and I, I uh, told her a little bit about it and she said, please send me the information. So I, I um, sent her what I knew at the time and I may be seeing her in person. She lives in um, uh, Fort um, Lauderdale area. So I, I'm going to uh, definitely promote it to her and she's really open to alternative um, 
practices and also my chiropractor I told her about it yesterday and she wrote it down and said um you know I'm definitely going to look in into this so you know I I'm an advocate of of passing on great information and I'm grateful to hear all the other stories and the benefits and and your your knowledge as well thank you Darlene it's a pleasure to discuss with you and I'm happy to make any personal connections you can give them all my contact information I'm happy to share okay and, and I'd, I'd like to say um Bob, you're muted, but we're here. I see somebody else with the 321 number that just joined us. I'm not sure who that is, but um, what I wanna say is that uh, Bob has, uh, he not only, you know, tell him what you just did, Bob. You, you just, you just bought a building so you could you can talk to that. And there's some really interesting things that are happening that we won't disclose, but you're unmuted. So go ahead. Yes, so uh, Dr. Blair, we're trying to promote your product, the beta caryophylline, and um, trying to use the building I bought as a as a, a way to promote it. Outstanding, uh, and you know, as a as a clinical sort of uh, jumping off point, I think that's a fabulous approach, especially when Kate is getting almost a hundred percent response from the geriatric community, of, of which I are one. Um, at being a 73 years old myself. So, um, you know, I, I think it's fabulous that you're incorporating this particular strategy. And I, I just want to add one other thing and, and that I didn't say before was that I find that, and I think it's the beta caryophylline that makes uh, my Pilates exercise routine um, addictive. <laughs> and, and my... Uh, <laughs> has been totally addicted to that feeling of exercising. And uh, my instructors there have noticed my posture and uh, and my workouts. Um, but they say they're just fantastic. They ask me where I get the energy from. So all I can do is smile. <laughs> Fabulous. That's great testimonial, Robert. I think I really appreciate it. Oh my gosh, nobody, he works over at ACE a couple of days out of the week and nobody even recognize him. There, I mean, he, it is so amazing. Bob knows everybody. I mean, he's got a, he's got a couple that we've gone to dinner with. They're carnivores and he has, um, one of, one of her, his friends has uh, prostate cancer. They're going on this big cruise and uh, boy, they've been eating meat and taking the beta and, and he's lost probably, I don't know, 40 pounds. He lost a lot of weight though, before he got on the beta and um, his, his wife is like, he doesn't, he doesn't take it all the time. So I have to remind him. <laughs> Were you saying something, Bob? Yeah, so I take it every day, and, and one thing that makes me take it every day is I put it right on my dresser, so right next to my keys, so that I take it every single morning um, before, I go, before I leave to, to go out. Well, that's a that's great, great idea. <laughs> yeah, so, so we have, uh, so I think, or, or I don't think, I know we have a wellness center that we're developing. That's anyway, wonderful. So we'll, um, I'm, I'm looking at, again, coming back on, on Tuesday at one o'clock. Uh, this time I've been doing probably for the last three years. And thank you, Mandy. Thank you, Callie. Um, gosh. Thank every, you, Kate. Gosh, so thank much. Thank you, Kate. Dr. Blair, we'll, My we'll, pleasure. we'll circle back around. Thank you so much. Yep. Thanks, everybody. Enjoy the day. Bye, Callie. Bye. Thank you.